Marcellus, welcome. It's practically a national holiday. By the here. way, Jay, I just got a text. Also, it said <laughs> that the only thing you could teach me is to throw up. Mm. That's it. Oh, really? Yeah. Coming to back. throw up. Yeah. Oh, was yeah. that supposed to hurt my feelings? Uh, yeah. You don't understand. It doesn't because Tim yeah. Tebow is protecting me today. He oh, has shielded yeah. me. Oh. Okay. He is protecting me. He you says, too shall be here. I too Yo shall be here. Y'all are crazy. <laughs> I, Marcellus, I look. Yeah. Yeah. You get a shot. It's Tebow Free TV. Everybody yeah. can talk about Tebow Let's except. That guy right there. And Skip I must Bayless. congratulate you, Skip Bayless, on the fact that today is Tebow Free TV. But I'm going to congratulate you on for being right about Tim Tebow all this time, how everyone has been critical of this man. And this is a man who is a leader of men. And think about that, all you evaluators out there, all you critics. This is a man who goes out there and lives up to an ability that you don't even understand. I'm about to talk to y'all right quick. To be a leader of men, you got to have a mental capacity and a mental talent that most evaluators want to bunch up and say it's called intangibles. Just because you're a man that says his elbow's not too high or his pinky is wrong and it's not on the laces, don't tell me this guy can't throw because all I see him do in critical moments in the fourth quarter is win football games. And I had an opportunity to meet the man and was thoroughly impressed by him and Mark Sanchez at an event that we had in which the throws, we both went out there and ran routes. We went out there and was throwing footballs. I saw a lot of similarities in the ability and more than more than anything else, <laughs> wake up, more than anything else, <laughs> I saw people getting in line and it was a longer line for Tim Tebow than it was for Mark Sanchez. So congratulations, Skip, for being right all this time. All I got to say is, Thank you, Marcel. <laughs> That's what? right. That's you right. made my day. I didn't think anybody was going to agree with you. I know we got producers to do the show or whatever. Damn that. Y'all going to wait. Let me tell you something. Oh, let's get it in. Let me tell you something right now. <laughs> That's the most asinine stuff I've ever heard on Tim Tebow in my life. Are you kidding me? That's right. I'm going to tell you why. Because, see, once again, I, I, don't, I wish I know the word where you could have been contaminated by Skip. I'll come up with one. <laughs> but the point is this. No one ever said the boy can't play football. No one has ever questioned whether he was a leader of men. Mm -hmm. You've got that kind of moral fabric and foundation? Of course you do. See, Tim Tebow is not getting away with this. And by the way, this is why I'm happy he's in New York this year, because I'm going to put this to bed once and for all. Mm. You don't get to sit back and rest just like we can't rest on our laurels. He doesn't get to rest on his morals. Nobody's questioning you as a man. Mm. Nobody's questioning you as a leader. Nobody's questioning any you of those things you, about. You, you oh, wait a minute. That translates. No. no. He wants what more. they're saying is, what they're saying is, any kind of insult that has been aimed in Tim Tebow's direction has been about his inability to throw the football evidence by his 46 and a half percent completion ratio. Shut up, Skip. I mean, be quiet. I meant that respectfully. You know that. The point that I'm trying to make to you is, <laughs> that's where we are talking about here when we're talking about Tim Tebow. Don't get it confused. Don't fall for the okie doke. We're not you talking. We're not talking about hey, and, and players a man. You fell for the okie doke because in football, every single position, there right. is no other position on that right. football field. We ask everyone to have the same exact technique. I understand that. Running backs can run all different styles. That's not what I'm saying. Linemen can block all different techniques, but a quarterback has to throw it the same. But I'm saying to you, I'm not talking about throw it the same. I'm talking about throwing it effectively. The fact of the matter is that Tim Skip Tebow here wants to point out how he ran for 660 yards, how they had the number one rushing attack. Number one rushing attack. Last time I checked. Last time I checked. Mm -hmm. When you played the quarterback position, you're supposed to know how to throw the football. That's all I'm trying to This think. is so a so young so quarterback. Wait, 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 this wait, wait, is a quarterback wait, 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 in training. Let, let the man I'll learn. I'll let you go into your little, little Okay, little, go. Yeah, I'll let you yeah, do that. That's right. What I'm right. saying is you hear every day, though. You I'm, have to. Yeah, yeah, I understand that. But you got your radio show, too, which I'm on <laughs> frequently as a guest. Let's keep that in mind. All right. So the point that I'm trying to make to you is this. If the dude can't throw the football, okay, mm -hmm. I'm sitting there saying to you, hey, he can't throw. That's not for y'all to turn around and go like this. He's a good man. He's a good leader. He's a Christian individual. Ooh, he he's can't small. throw, huh? He just, he just can't and throw. The, and so, the Pittsburgh no, no, Steelers no, no, went so, home so, because so, he. So, so when you have, so when you have, so when you have a dead clock is right twice a day, baby. Mm. The point that I'm well, trying to make. Well, what about seven of eight? Is it right? Seven eight? What about four or five? Didn't he lose four the last five? Did Peyton Manning lose thirteen games his first year? This man sitting up here and scoring like this. All he does is win games after he's losing. Did Peyton Manning have a video? Did Peyton Manning have? What's that got to do with it? 
great men have Skip Tebow up here going crazy every week, turning against the national media. Oh, my Lord. Did Peyton Manning. Uh, do, Peyton do, Manning do I not listen to you Peyton guys every day criticize players like LeBron and saying oh, because no, of their no, mental no, aptitude, no, 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 because no. of those things, this how it translates to their game? This dude said so he doesn't have Tebow and LeBron. Applaud but somebody dude, whose their mental dude, aptitude dude, translates to their this game. This dude actually said that he'd rather have Tebow than LeBron. Look at him. Look at him. The man said it. He said it. What? He football? said it. Yeah, he said it, period. He <laughs> Wait a minute, let me see if I can translate for him. He wants to say something. His hand's going to explode. You're trying to say it. His hand's going to explode. I got you, Skip. You did. Go His hand's going to explode. Go ahead. Give me the graphic. Go ahead, boy. Go ahead. You don't like Tebow for real? I don't, I don't think he can throw. And my point, here's a, here's a, how does a pass get completed if you I, say that can statement? I say, can I say one? I just want to say two quick you things. You don't like how the spiral number one, looks? Number one, he's just awful. He can't throw. Oh, That's God. number one. He's going to make you eat those And number words. two. Oh, what, what? I'm talking about what I saw. Mm. I don't know what I'm going to see. Mm. I'm talking about what I saw. If he shows me something different. How do you win year, playoff games in the NFL? If, if he shows me something. Eh. I'm trying to move on. Okay. If he shows me something different this year, I will acknowledge it. Right. I'm going by what I saw, not what I may see. Number two, and more importantly, what I resent about Tim Tebow, mm -hmm. not about him the person, mm -hmm. but what I resent about the subject of Tim Tebow is that everything has to be qualified. He's a leader. He's a good man. He's a good kid. He's a. I met him at the SPs too. Because he's, he's a leader. A he's, he's at a, the position no, 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 no. of leadership That's not what in the NFL. Saying. I'm not questioning. That's why they bring I'm not, it up. I'm not questioning it. I'm saying we have to qualify it before we say anything. Because we do that with every world. quarterback. No, we don't. Yes, we do. No, we you don't. don't have the leadership no, we ability don't. or intangibles. No, we don't. You don't we give do that guy the same respect. We do that about respect. every quarterback. Yes, we never do that, that about That could bring you up or like down that. the draft we every time. We never said We talk stop. about Tom Brady being a great quarterback. We talk about Drew Brees and Peyton Manning. And, and we talk everybody. about their we leadership criticize. ability. When we criticized Donovan McNabb, we did it. And we talk about Donovan McNabb and saying he needs to stop turning the other cheek. I hear it every time. That's right. Donovan McNabb. What? Sign language. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, baby. Were you Lance Stevenson now? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and all I got to say to Marcellus is, all he does is win. Mmm, my man. <laughs> Give me that. Give me I that. thought he'd come along with another line. Today, That's Marcellus. the same thing you said to DJ. That's right. That's right. I mean, right. Oh, all he does is win. Don't That's, let it. I, I didn't say that about the t-shirt. Don't let the sound get in the way of the substance, baby. Mm. I think my dude, real Skip Bayless, can make it. Let the haters hate, Skip. Thank you. you can do it. I got a shot. What time? We are almost, we're past halfway home. We're into the third quarter. Right, so what we got to do is we got to have the cheerleading segment to make Skip feel good so he can make it through the two hours. Well, oh, the thing is, though, the thing, wait, no. I thought you would be better at pulling one Tebow out of him. You came close once. Come yeah, on. you had me come on, come Stephen close. A. No, one you know time what? I thought you were. You know what? This wasn't premeditated. Nope. This was straight from this man's heart. Whatever. He believes Whatever. it with all of that his soul. California Preach sun getting to him. <laughs> all right, that next California up on the debate menu. <laughs> Beware NFC East. Michael Vick believes his time is now. What do we expect from Michael Vick this season? We should expect a return to greatness because there's no question about his ability. There's no question about his talent. But as Trent Dilfer always says, the greatest ability you could have in pro sports is availability. And only one time in Michael Vick's career has he played 16 games. Mm -hmm. And I think that's his first problem, and he's addressing that problem in the weight room this offseason and making sure he's at the OTAs and he's present. The other thing about him last year you saw was the fact that he had such a great year before, and then he tried to respond to that increased pressure, the expectations, him being a different quarterback redefined as a more of a pocket passer than a runner. And then all of a sudden you get into game situations, all this new talent added, no offseason, and he doesn't know his guys necessarily, but the guys he can count on are Deshaun Jackson. He's not mentally there. A Jeremy Macklin, he's not physically there because of yep. injury. And all of a sudden, you feel that pressure to make every single play. And you heard the coaching staff say he kind of got outside of himself and the playbook in effort to try and make every single so play. So you're saying you're picking them to win the East? Oh, yes, definitely. Wow. I think this is Super a Bowl? Well, this is a far? team that won four straight at the oh. end of the season. They're going to continue with that momentum. Super Bowl? They're, they have to get to that. They have to get to the playoffs, and then we're going to see okay. how that, well, that, that right. feels out for I, I, I'm proud of him because we all know what he's been through. We know that most of it was self-inflicted. Um, he paid his debt to society, and he's come back. And redemption, I mean, it's his middle name right now just because the way he's been conducting himself. Last year, <clears throat> he could have played better. There's no doubt about that. 3,300 yards, 59.8% completion rating. 
Uh, he could have done better. But at the same time, let's keep in mind, you had a lot of guys committing turnovers. You mm -hmm. had a defense that was soft as putty, particularly the secondary. Uh, you had Andy Reid taking an offensive line coach and making him the defensive coordinator, so there were some growing pains there. And, of course, there was no, you know, I, you know the training camp because of the lockout right. and all this stuff. If you consider the obstacles, it wasn't all his fault, but it's good that he accepts blame and responsibility mm -hmm. for it because that's what a quarterback needs to do. I will believe Michael Vick's greatness when I see it next year. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen enough lately. In, in his Philly second life in the NFL. Yeah, I agree with that. And you know what? I, I loved what he said about I've been in the weight room and I've been watching film, but it took this deep into his career to make that kind of a commitment. That hurt me just to hear it for his sake and for his teammates' sake because the book on him in his Atlanta days, last one in, first one to leave. So he's rededicating at this point in, the, in, in his career. It, it, I hope it's not too little too late, but he's going through another identity crisis, and you brought it up. Is he that run first? Is he going to throw it? Is he a pocket guy that they tried to reinvent him as? I, I don't know. So I'm going to wait. They've got the talent to win the East. I don't know that they're going to have the chemistry. The only thing I would say to you, Skip, is that I, I'd like to see. I love it in today's the modern-day athlete. I love when I see guys owning up to the things they haven't done. Yeah, and, and to your point, Stephen A., 38 turnovers last year, yeah. second most in the NFL. They correct that. They will win a lot of ball games. Yeah, that was their problem last year. Yeah. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.